Kentucky is divided into six regions. Starting in the east and moving west, you have the eastern coal fields, the knobs, the bluegrass, the penny royal, western coal fields, and the Jackson Purchase. Now if you're looking in the Kentucky Encyclopedia, you'll notice only five regions are identified, leaving out the knobs. But these are the typical six regions you will find in a textbook. Now let's start with the Penny Royal. The largest region in the state, the Penny Royal is named after a plant that grows in this region. The land in this region is very fertile and a common occupation is farming. The region is most known for its caves. The limestone rock has been carved out by many underwater streams and it has created thousands of caves. The Mammoth Cave is located in the region and it is the largest cave system in the world. It has 350 miles of cave tunnels to track through. The Bluegrass region is the most known region of the state, probably because the nickname of Kentucky is the Bluegrass State. The region is located in the central part of Kentucky and it is covered in grass called bluegrass. It's not actually blue. The region is covered with rolling hills and has rich fertile soil. Kentucky is known for horses and the bluegrass region is full of horse farms. Thoroughbred horse farms produce some of the fastest horses in the world. Places like Churchill Downs in Louisville, the Red Mile in Keeneland and Lexington makes horse racing a historic pastime. With cities like Louisville and Lexington in this region, the bluegrass region is the most populous region in Kentucky. The Eastern Coalfields are one of the most known regions of Kentucky. Made up of the Appalachian Mountains, the Cumberland Plateau is also located in this area. Known as Pine Mountain, a long mountain ridge stretches across the southern border of the state. The highest peak in the state, Black Mountain, is located in this region. Black Mountain has an elevation of 4,145 feet above sea level. Coal and eastern Kentucky have been associated with each other since the early 1900s. This region has produced enormous amounts of coal over the past century and produces some still today. Another aspect of this region is Natural Bridge, which brings in numerous hikers who come to the area and hike the many trails to see this natural beauty. The Western Coal Fields, the often overlooked coal fields of Kentucky, are located in the western part of the state, around Owensboro. The land and coal fields are much smaller than the eastern coal fields. The western coal fields should not be sold short. They produce their share of coal. The region also has many farms. In 1990, Kentucky's coal production hit 179.4 million tons. The Knobs region makes a horseshoe around the bluegrass region. This area does not have the best farmland due to its soil and having numerous trees. The region is covered in forest. The area is full of cone-shaped hills that give the region its name. The Jackson Purchase is named after President Andrew Jackson. Before he was president, he purchased the area from the Chickasaw in 1818. The region is very important to Kentucky because it gives the state a natural border to the Mississippi River. The six regions of Kentucky, again, are the Penny Royal, Bluegrass, Eastern Coalfields, Western Coalfields, the Knobs, and the Jackson Purchase. Just to note, the map in this video is a drawing and the lines of the regions are not 100% accurate, but give a very good view of the regions of Kentucky. Each region has its own special features, and what we've mentioned in this video is just a brief summary. Look out for more videos on each specific region, and subscribe to the channel for more facts about Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for more Kentucky history content. Find us on these social media platforms and check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.